If a judge signs off, we will all get to see the warrant and at least some of what was taken from former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home on Monday. Attorney General Merrick Garland just spoke for less than five minutes and said he filed this motion with the federal court in the Southern District of Florida, asking the judge to unseal both the search warrant with attachment A and B and the FBI property receipt. The warrant would list sort of the logistics, the general information, and the location of the items they're looking for. Now, warrants sometimes have attachments that list the statutes that DOJ says they have probable cause to believe were violated. Now, whether those attachments ultimately got released is unknown at this point, but according to the motion filed today, there are two attachments DOJ is asking a judge to unseal. The other document the attorney general is petitioning to have unsealed is the FBI property receipt, which would list all the items that were removed. Now, the DOJ's motion that was filed today says it would just be a redacted list, which means certain items would be blacked out or unreadable. That could be for a lot of reasons, including the information is sensitive or possibly classified. We just do not know at this point. The attorney general says the only reason why the Department of Justice is petitioning the court to unseal these documents is because the former president made it public himself and has kept talking about it since. A.G. Garland says there is an overwhelming public interest in what's going on as a result of all that talking. Generally, the Department of Justice, or really any attorney general or prosecutor, does not talk about the details of ongoing cases for legal and ethical reasons. That's why the AG said almost nothing today about the case, why the search warrant was executed, or what was taken. The only thing AG Garland really said is he personally signed off on the decision to move forward with the search warrant and that the department did not take that decision lightly. He also confirmed that the former president's legal counsel was indeed there at Mar-a-Lago when the search was conducted. So what's next? The former president and his legal team have the opportunity to respond to this motion in federal court and they can choose to do one of three things. One, they can release the documents themselves without the court because they do have these in their possession already. Two, they can respond to the court and say, yeah, we agree with DOJ, release the documents. Or three, they can say, we do not agree and we do not want these documents unsealed. Now there's one more document we will definitely not see. The Department of Justice did not request the court unseal the affidavit that lays out in great detail the proof DOJ says it has gathered to justify the probable cause and what prompted the judge to sign off on the warrant that was executed on Monday.